Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. So I've got a fun Easter, spring, hello type card for you today. And I just love this card. The chick is super cute. But both of the stamp sets used in today's project are celebration stamp sets. So celebration is stamping up like biggest sale of the year and it gets all of us super excited. Demonstrators too. And so I'm excited to just kind of share with you what that is. And I'd also like to tell you a little bit about when to expect the 2016 annual catalog. I'm getting a lot of questions about that as well. All right, so the Handmade from the Heart, this is the spring catalog. It is like way awesome. And if you take a look at it, there's just so many wonderful things in here. And so I'm not gonna go through everything in here with you, but it is awesome. So if you don't already have a spring catalog, please um, fill out the form at the bottom of my post at brandyscards.com or in the catalog request, and I'll be happy to send you a catalog. Now, if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, make sure you ask for a catalog from your demonstrator, all right? Celebration. Celebration is an annual sale, so it happens once a year, started January 5th, and it runs through March 31st. So for every $50 you spend before shipping and tax, you're gonna get a free item out of the Celebration catalog. So take a look here. This is um, the very front couple pages. You can see um, if you decide to join Stampin' Up! or my team of Blooms and Butterflies, you can see there's an awesome deal going on in there. You get an extra $30 in product for free. So that is super cool. So if you're interested in joining Stampin' Up!, please let me know and I'll send you all of the details on that. Also, you've got host. You don't actually have to host a party as long as your order qualifies. So if you take a look at our hostess chart on page 30 of your celebration, page three of your celebration catalog, you'll see that if you make a purchase of $150 before shipping and tax, you don't have to have a party. You're still gonna get those hostess benefits and three celebration items. So take a look at these celebration items. They are fantastic. So today we're gonna use my, one of my favorites, What I Love, on page seven. And then we're also gonna use the Honeycomb Happiness, and that is on page 15. Love the chick and the little ice cream comb, which I just did a card for you on that. Now, if you look at page 17, actually page 16 through 19, now these sets are limited time only, so these sets will be gone as of February 16th, 2016. So make sure if you want to get one of these exclusive celebration items, you have to make a qualifying purchase before the 16th of February. Now, I know you guys are going, okay, Brandy, what's yet to come? Okay, I have our celebration catalog, and this one is the new items that are available um, to replace those items that are be leaving us. So I'm super excited to show them to you. So you'll he see here we've got the metallic glitter tape. It is amazing. It is so pretty and so sparkly. So you'll take a look at all the different colors here. We've also got this fun party pants stamp set, which I do have here with me. It's called Party Pants. It's got some fun sentiments. And then we also have a stamp set called Petal Pusher. And you can see here it's on the back. I just thought this was precious. Um, I'm here for you or let me pedal for a while. I'm here for you. So I just thought that was super cute. So these items will replace your celebration items. Now I'm not gonna be sending this flyer out. It's, we just don't have enough time. There's only about six weeks before celebration is over. So instead, I'm gonna post it on Brandy's Cards and please feel free to go over there, take a look at it and download it and print it for yourself at home, okay? All right, so let's get started with this fun card. So this is the card we're gonna make today. See the cute little chick and the background. Oh, I'm excited to show you the background. And then the oh hello, and I just thought it was fun. It's easy to do. We're gonna whip it together pretty darn quickly, and I think you're gonna have fun with it as well. All right, so the colors I have here are pretty simple. Old Olive and Whisper White. The little Daffodil Delight to add some pop. So we're gonna go ahead and fold our Old Olive cardstock in half. All of the sizes and the dimensions will be on brandyscards.com, and you'll be able to find this card if you search for it later by going to the search bar in the top right-hand corner. And you can type in there, Honeycomb Happiness, What I Love, Celebration 2016, and I promise you that will come up. And as I say that, if for some reason it doesn't, just send me an email and I'll make sure you get the link. 
So here I have the What I Love flower. And so in the stamp set there, this is actually a two time stamp uh, stamping stamp. So that means you stamp it once with one image and then you stamp it with a detailed image on top and it makes a really beautiful pop. But today we're going to just use this as kind of our background stamp. So we've got the de um, I have the detailed stamp and I'm going to use Old Olive. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink it up in Old Olive and I am going to stamp it. And you know now that I think about that I need to grab my piercing pad. So hang on for one second while I grab my pierce mat. Okay, I'm back with you. How many of you guys have done that? You've been like, ah! So that just leads me to, well, why do we use a pierce mat? Well, the reason that we're using the pierce mat is because when you use your photopolymer stamps, sometimes they just don't stamp as nice without a pierce mat. So I always recommend having a pierce mat with your photopolymer stamps. All right, so let's go ahead and ink that back up. We're gonna stamp that around the edge of our card, just like that. And I'm not really doing anything crazy. All I want is just the outline of the green to show on the edge of my card. And I am using this little white pad underneath here. That's basically just to keep it from getting on my pierce mat. We don't want to, we don't want to stamp our pierce mat, right? And you know, with your rubber stamps, you don't need a pierce mat. You can just use a hard surface and you'll be perfectly fine. All right, so there's no random order to this, and you really don't have to stamp the center because you're not going to see the center. So don't worry about that. All right, so there you go. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to stamp around the edge. Now, since I'm already doing that, I am going to go ahead and grab my little green piece here. You see that? So this is for under my chick. I'm going to grab that one, and I'm going to do the same thing. Because again, all I want is just kind of that fun, unique background. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna stamp this a few more times. And then one more time and I should be finished. Perfect. Now I'm all done with the green. So that was pretty easy. So we're gonna set that aside. I also have my layering piece for that. Now I've got two pieces of white here and it's about an eighth of an inch off off of each other. So for example, this is going to be five and three and three quarters. So this is going to be four and three quarters by, gosh, that's hard to like do it without, you know, having my numbers right in front of me, but it's basically an eighth of an inch off. And all of the sizes and dimensions will be on Brandy's card. So don't worry about that. So we're going to take the smallest whisper white piece. And now what I'm going to do is what I really love is kind of making a fun background. So I have my What I Love flower, and this would be the flower with the most coverage, I suppose. This would be the flower that you would stamp first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up in Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to stamp it on my cardstock, and then I'm just going to kind of start moving around my card. And now one thing I want to point out is you always want to, you know, you do want to, um, if you stamp off the edge, you do want to re-ink it, re it because what will happen is you'll get this like hard line through your flower and you'll go, oh my gosh, what just happened? That is what happened is you're not going to like it. So just make sure that you, if you stamp off your card, that you do stamp, um, you do re-ink it. That's just, just a little tidbit that you'll appreciate later as you go. All right, so we're gonna keep going around the card. And you know, you could make it as dark as you want. You could make it as light as you want. It just kind of depends. Um, and you know, just play with it and see what you like. And so it looks like we've got about a quarter, one of the corners left to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep going here and We've got one more piece right there. Super. All right, so there you go. This is the fun background piece. And I just think it turned out beautiful. It's nice, it's bright, it's cheerful. So now let's move on to the chick. I thought he was fun. And like I said, he's out of that celebration stamp set. So we're gonna actually stamp him twice. Now why? Well, because I don't wanna cut out his little feet. I like to fussy cut, but I don't need to cut out his feet necessarily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink him up in black and um, I'm going to ink him up in black and then I'm going to stamp it straight down and straight up. Oh, he is absolutely adorable. And so here, this is, um, this is just stamped on Whisper White using the black ink. I'm going to stamp it again 
and this time I'm gonna stamp it kind of where I want him to be. This was my scrap stamp piece. So don't make that mistake because you'll have to cut another piece of paper or flip it over because there's two sides to every paper, right? So I'm gonna stamp this one a little bit closer to the top. There you go. So he is cute, very, very cute. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my um, what I love flower. This is the flower that we use to make the background. And so let me take a look at my card here. I'm gonna pull it over. And so what I did to make him is I actually stamped off and then I just sort of stamped on, I guess you could say. And you might have to pull in a scrap piece, um, you know, cause you're gonna kind of, you want to kind of, the idea here is to get different shades of yellow on him. That was kind of my, my thinking. And so I'm just sort of stamping around on him. And again, I just, you know, it, there's no right or wrong way to do this at all, but I just wanted him to sort of be shaded without actually coloring him. So I just thought this was a fun way to do it. You know, sometimes we just have to be creative and try to think outside of the box if we don't have the tools to color in or that sort of thing. So I have a Tangerine Tango Stampin' Write marker. Love my Stampin' Up markers, they're fantastic. Um, I'm gonna use my point and I'm gonna color his little beak in there, that's perfect. While I have my marker out, I'm gonna pull up my chick here and I'm just gonna go ahead and color his little feet. Just really quick, nothing big. I've already got my marker going, so there we go. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting, but you're gonna be surprised. It's not too bad. He's just an outline at this point. So we're gonna just kind of snip around his body, just like this. And while I'm cutting him out, I do wanna let you guys know that the 2016 annual catalog, it is not gonna ship until May of 2016. So not until May of this year. So our current catalog is actually available, or you can order products out of it through um, the end of May. So the 2016 actually goes live. You can order live the 2016 catalog in June. So that's when you can actually order items from the catalog, but it's not gonna ship until mid-May. So I just want to let you guys know that as um, I've been getting a lot of catalog requests because I think there's kind of, you know, we're all so excited to get the new catalog and because it's January and February, well, there should be a new catalog. The Stampin' Up! year actually, um, their catalogs start June 1st and they end May 31st. So our 2016 catalog is not actually gonna ship until the end of May, available to purchase the items in June, okay? So just keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and start putting this chick together. I think you guys are gonna like him. He is so much fun. Okay, so I've got my Tombow glue and I'm just gonna put a little glue here on the back of my chick and I'm gonna center that on my card just like that. Now I've got two pieces. I've got my, um, my designer background, which I'm excited to show you the other two cards I made with this and I'm gonna center it right here in the white. Now it's only an eighth of a difference, so it's gonna be a tight fit. And I did that on purpose. I wanted sort of a mat. I wanted it to sort of pop and have a little bit of a mat. You certainly don't have to do that. I just like to, I just like to do that. All right, so there we go. It's centered in the middle of my card. Now I'm gonna take a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals, put it on the back of my chick, who is super chicky cool, and we're gonna put him right on top. Do you see that? Now by cutting him out and stamping him first and sticking him on top, now I don't have to cut out his feet. Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. Well, I didn't come up with that idea. Somebody else did, but it was brilliant. Love it. So you have to remember that when you're doing that. And now we're going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals behind our chick, actually behind the old olive rectangle, and then we're going to add it to our card. We're gonna add our sentiment and we will be good to go. So look at this, he's gonna go right in here and oh my gosh, I love how the yellow works so beautifully with the green. Oh my gosh, makes me look forward to all the, the Easter, uh, Easter events and I have to tell you, it also reminds me of those little peeps, you know, those yummy, um, those yummy things in the, 
uh, when, you know, for Easter, those things called the peeps or whatever. I don't know, they're just really good little marshmallow guys. But anyway, that's what it reminds me of. So now I have my strip here, and I'm gonna take my oh hello. Of course, yours can say whatever you would like, but I'm gonna go with the oh hello that's actually in the stamp set. I thought it was cute. So we're gonna ink it up in black, and I'm gonna stamp it straight down, straight up. Perfect. And you know what? I'm gonna stamp a second one just because I might want a little bit more space. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim it here, just like this. And actually, now that I look at it, I think I'm gonna take the second one, just like that, and just like this. Now you can absolutely eye it, or you can kind of measure it with your, um, your card. I really liked the banner look. Um, there's all kinds of different ways to make it absolutely a perfect banner. Um, you know, I'm not too particular with that because you know, I just, I just, uh, I don't know. I just, they're handmade cards, and I think it's perfectly okay if they're not totally an even banner because, you know, I mean, what is perfect nowadays, right? So I just like to have fun with it and not sweat the small stuff, I suppose. All right, so I'm gonna stick my oh hello right here. Very cute. Oh, I love it. Okay. So now I have this cute little flower. This flower came out of the What I Love stamp set. It's right there. Very cute. Okay, we're gonna take that and I'm gonna stamp that in Old Olive. Old Olive, and I'm gonna stamp it on this little piece of scrap here, because there we go. Stamp Old Olive, and then I'm just gonna cut it out. Now, do you have to cut it out? Well, if you wanna pop it up off your card, I suppose you do. But if you want to just um, use one of our Stampin' Up punches, and punch out a flower, you can certainly do that too. I just thought it was, um, it was just a really cute, whimsical little flower and it just looked really nice with the chick. So that's what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut this little guy out. And as you can see here, I am not the perfect fussy cutter. I do leave a little bit of white space, but I'm mounting it on white and so nobody will know the difference. I am totally okay with that. So I'm gonna stick that right here just for some, an added little, little pretty on there. Now I have to show you, I think I've showed these to you once before. These are the It's My Party enamel dots. Oh, they are just beautiful. They are shiny and um, oh, I just love them. I don't know, I think it's because they're so pretty and shiny. They just remind me of, I don't know, like a pretty pearly necklace or something in colors. It's just so pretty. All right. So there is my Oh Hello card. Now don't forget, you're going to definitely want to add an inside. So you're going to want to mount a piece of white on the inside. You could certainly stamp some flowers. Um, you could add a little chick on the inside if you want, or put a chick on your envelope as well. Um, but there are so many things you can do with this guy. I love him and I hope that you do too. So I know that I have done some other cards with this background and I have posted them and I've shared them with you, but in case you haven't seen them, here is the Valentine card one that I recently did for Valentine's and I just thought this was fun too. This is the watercolor words heart with the love and the little rhinestones for the added accent. And then in the background, I used the melon mambo in the same flower that I did here with my chick. This one is The Sky is the Limit. This is also a celebration stamp set. And this one I used Marina Mist. So you've got your background here, which is Knight of Navy. You've got Marina Mist layered with this Whisper White piece. And it's got the Marina Mist stamped around it just like the chick. And I just thought it was an absolute beautiful display of just grab some colors, play with it, have fun making your own background and getting creative. That's what it's all about. Nobody knows what it's supposed to look like to begin with, so just have fun with it. So thank you so much for stopping by Brandy's Cards. I certainly appreciate it. I hope that you've enjoyed today's project, and I hope that you give it a try. And don't forget, these celebration items are only available through March 31st, and I believe the sky is the limit is only available through February 15th. So if you're interested in this stamp set, make sure that you make a qualifying purchase before then. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope you have a blessed day.